day or two for viewing uh, on YouTube. Let's go into the uh, communications. Are there any communications from the uh, public? Public comment from the committee, just uh, stop by, we have a beacon. I'll pass it around to uh, people in the, on the uh, committee. And uh, any other comments from anyone? Seeing none, I guess we can go to the discussion part of the meeting would be the uh, the follow up to the last meeting when the town manager presented the uh, town's five year financial uh, revenue forecast. So I'd like to open that up for comments or questions from the uh, committee members. I have a, a, just a couple of general ones, and that is basically trying to get a handle in very general terms on any risks or opportunities there are that you see. With the as the budget process goes forward, regarding say revenue possible revenue shortfalls or possible possible uh, opportunities where uh, the actual revenue will exceed uh, probably exceed uh, the planned revenue. Thank you. So you mean crafting the fiscal 19 budget? Fiscal 19 budget, exactly. Should have specified that. So just going forward with the state aid numbers, what those will come in at if they vary significantly. Mm -hmm. um, I assume that our, we're using governor's proposal. That will be the baseline. I don't foresee it going uh, any lower than that. And uh, right now, um, the end snow and ice deficit is unknown. So, yep, yep. Um, but um, how we've been trending, I think, uh, will look similar to last year. Mm -hmm. uh, not exactly the same, but okay. And we also have a little built-in conservatism relative to uh, uh, new, ca new 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 growth, right? New growth had been trending uh, higher than the uh, three hundred thousand dollars in, in the in the uh, projection. Yes, and so um, in the forecast, we use three hundred thousand for new growth. Yep. Um, it is likely to be a little higher than that for when I present my proposed budget, based on the historical trends and information from the assessors. Okay. So. Basically, with the exception of the fact that uh, snow and ice is a wild card, which it always is, mm -hmm. we have possible upside potential in the uh, state aid. Correct. It's difficult to believe it could go any lower mm -hmm. and still be an increase over over last year. And of course, we have the uh, uh, new growth number, which is likely a little bit uh, lower in the plan than our, 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 our recent uh, uh, experience. Anything else? Uh, at this point, nothing real noteworthy. I, I, as I discussed, like our um, retirement assessment came in a little slightly higher than the original estimate that we were using. Mm -hmm. That was an increase. Uh, we're using 8% for health insurance. So, um, but overall, um, I mean, the above level requests are going to exceed what we can actually afford in the end. It's the bottom line, but overall, I don't foresee any other really uh, risk worthy things to note. Well, it gives me a little better context. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Heather. Any, anybody else? Um, I just had a, a question with respect to the um, assumptions around expenditures mm -hmm. and the what what assumptions are in the target budget and then what are some of those items that are above target that we may have to evaluate i know you talked about an additional police officer for example mm -hmm. was that in the target budget assumptions or was that an above target that was in the target number the one police officer so the increase in public safety is 160,000 and that covers an additional police officer plus I would assume any contractual increases. Correct. 
Um, what, what about the general government unclassified? In the target budget, we're looking at uh, 165,000 increase. What's, uh, what's driving that? There's our insurance, our insurances. Oh, so that includes um, the health insurance along with the retirement? Because we talked about retirement last time. Retirement's going up, what, 10% annually? No, that... Um No, it's just insurance. Just insurance. Yep, workers' comp, uh, general insurance, health insurance, liability, all those. And then where is the um, retirement reflected? It's uh, its own separate um, line. I'm looking at the uh, summary slide on uh, page 23. I don't have that in front of me. <laughs> I only have my uh, line item budget. I'd have to That's fine. I know it's covered because we talked about it. Yeah. Um, so the overall revenue expense sheet, are you looking at? The expenditures FY19 target budget. It's a summary of the dollar change. Um, the total being an increase of 542395 Okay, I see what you're saying. I'd have to dig a little deeper just to get behind that, that number. Um, And then my uh, my only other question is uh, on the education line. Um, the target budget is in line with the forecast, um, but it's just a little bit more than half of what's in the above target budget. Correct. And what's the assumption in the above target budget? Is that the preliminary superintendent's budget? Correct. Okay. So, uh, just for the folks at home, the target budget for education is an increase of 618518 mm -hmm. And then the above target uh, would increase the budget by 1192671 and that includes um, money to sit. Uh, money money tech, money, yeah. yeah, money tech yeah. as well. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? I, I do have one more, and this is looking a gift horse in the mouth, but facilities and buildings in that same slide went down 122,500, would go down 122,500 dollars. I wondered what caused that decline. That was uh, the special town meeting appropriate additional funding. Yep. So okay. that's removing that one time funding for the extra projects that were included at the special town meeting. So it's about level with last year if we, we exclude the decision made at special town meeting in November. The target budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Correct. Thanks. Thank you. Anyone else? Should we go on to the uh, capital plan discussion? Follow up on uh, Damon McQuaid's uh, presentation uh, the last time we met? I can start it off by directly addressing a uh, question Mark had relative to a large capital request going uh, forward 10 years because I, I had had five years worth of uh, data and then I dug into a, uh, another file I had which is admittedly two years old. But to give you the, the, the summary, 
And this is, uh, the summary is that there are 11 projects in this, uh, in, in the next, that, that, that are over $100,000, uh, 11 capital improvement requests that are over $110,000 in the uh, 10 years between FY19 and FY28. The total would be about $5 million. Uh, and uh, that, that includes two or three large uh, fire trucks, but uh, the balance would be a DP, primarily DPW. So, I, and just to set a little bit of a perspective here, uh, town manager has, has, has said that for the first five years, at least of that period, we should count on $650,000 a year for uh, capital, uh, uh, to, to, to meet capital requests. Uh, this would cover nearly all of the cap, that, that capital budget for, ten, for, 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 the, for the 10 years. And be mindful of the fact that the $650,000 has, uh, has covered police cruisers is a large part of it and on a pretty yearly basis. So it looks like it's even that there's, there's a great deal, there, there are more capital requests in this period than uh, there is budgeted money to cover them. I, I guess um, one thing that would be helpful, John, I'm not sure if it's readily available, um, but if we could um, get a view to the 10-year capital plan. I mean, Damon, Damon's um, presentation uh, was focused primarily on fiscal 19. Yep. Um, and I, I think we have a, a reasonable capital outlay for the upcoming year. Uh -huh. uh, but we talked a little bit about some items uh, that are not included this year, but will be hitting uh, in future years. Um, it would be helpful to have visibility to the 10-year to the capital yep. list, uh, if that's something you can make available. That is something that I can, that I'm working on right now, as a matter of fact, I was, uh, I put this together for this meeting, this meeting only, just to give us a perspective of this going out. This data is two years old, and I, I intend to uh, talk to the three uh, department heads, Jack Rodrickens, uh, Chief Sullivan, and Chief, uh, Chief Marino, who, have the, who are the engines of, of this. In addition to which, I don't know how the town manager wishes to address the, address this, but if, if, if the town wants to fold, say, building repairs uh, uh, and improvements into capital, which seems to probably, man probably should, I think a lot of this, uh, this list will be added to as of next uh, Tuesday, when the uh, capital, uh, is it next Tuesday or Tuesday after next? When the capital, uh, uh, when, when the building improvement Plan, oh, that's uh, next Tuesday, yeah. Next Tuesday, yeah. in front of the uh, Board of Selectmen when the building improvement plan uh, is, or at least condition, uh, is, 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 is presented. I, I think there's um, two elements to the building maintenance plan. Um, mm -hmm. One is going to be, um, I think, operating expense. That there has to be a component of ongoing operating expense that's dedicated to the maintenance of the buildings. Um, you know, that's something that, that wouldn't be capitalized. Yep. Uh, if we're making an improvement that has a, a useful life to it yep. uh, beyond just normal year-to-year um, -year maintenance, uh, that, would, that would need to be in the capital plan. But I, I, I would hope we're going we're gonna to see both the impact on the operating budget mm -hmm. and whatever capital investments might be needed as yeah. well yeah I, I agree it makes makes perfect sense i just I, I i anticipate that there'll be several projects that fall into uh, capital projects as basic improvements of the uh, building of, of, of town buildings that you know uh, cost over ten thousand bucks and uh uh last over three years I, I and i've got a couple in mind right now just you know so anyway that's where we are, and so it's going to 
be a stay tuned next couple of weeks. I'll have something that uh, maybe we can talk about in more detail. Is that it? Wow. Okay, does anybody else have any any questions or issues regarding capital? I do have Just the um, estimates for the fire Thank you. truck oh, based oh, on yeah. short-term borrowing for a five-year term and a ten-year term. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And what I can tell you about that is the pay down the annual pay down on that truck if we just if we decided that we wanted to purchase it over the five-year term is a hundred and forty seven thousand mm -hmm. dollars and the interest and that would basically replace the fire engine that would be paid in full in 2019 that was financed in the same manner mm -hmm. um, and the last payment that we have for the purchase of the lane property right now we're paying $106,250 for the fire engine and $36,022 for the lane property. So this is almost a dollar for dollar match if we chose to do the financing over the five years for the new truck. And it does fit within our borrowing policy based upon the percentages that we have for regular and excludable debt. So now we have to just we need to finalize the budget and see how much we're able to come up with to offset the full cost of that item and see exactly how much we would need to finance over that five-year period. But, but 735 was the estimate that was used when this schedule was put together based upon the fact that we would have $200,000 available to offset the cost and we would finance the other 735 <coughs> over five years. Right, and, and Karen, what did you say for the for the existing fire engine? When when is that? Uh, that is paid? up in 2019, and we'd be looking to start the pay down on these on the new one in 2020. Okay. And what about the lane property? What's the lane property is the same thing. The final payment is in 2019, so it's 36022 for the lane property. 106250 for the existing fire truck the principal payments the interest payments are rather small because the rates are low so yeah. so um it basically just replaces what already exists now yep thank you um karen is that a, f a five year a five year loan is that is that a typical length of a loan to finance a fire truck well no typically i mean originally when when we received an estimate from our financial advisor, they gave us a long-term bond for, I think it was a 20-year bond, and it was based upon the life expectancy of the asset, um, which we could do, but that's extending the borrowing till almost the time that you need to replace it. So we were looking at trying to finance it faster and pay mm -hmm. less interest, and. Um, and actually have something paid for that still has a long, useful life. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and particularly because we have uh, a slew of large projects Correct. coming up that we don't want to piggyback too many. I assume the $735,000 initial uh, balance, uh, uh, principal would be net after uh, the, the town uses some of the capital, uh, some of the capital stabilization funds? Or is that the total? price of the uh, of the unit no I think it wasn't at 935 I, th I thought it was 
so it was 935. We do have unexpended capital that we were looking to apply to the project. Mm -hmm. We probably, based upon the way that the budget is put together right now, there was $650,000 appropriated for capital, of yep. which as of right now, there's 521 right. actually allocated. So the difference between the 521 and the 650, the unexpended capital that we have, and then possibly a drawdown from that special purpose stable fund would bring us to the 735 but we'd still have a using those with those numbers we'd still have a balance in the special purpose capital stabilization correct fund for, uh, for for other other and actually, we were hoping that we wouldn't have to draw anything out of the Special Purpose Stabilization Fund this year, knowing that we have some larger capital items coming up in the near future. So, And of course, the second question is, has to do with uh, interest rates. The interest rates assume that we would commence borrowing in uh, 2020. Or the well, we would issue the bond in 2019 and have the first pay down in 2020. Right. So we would do it because obviously once he orders the truck, it's going to take a while to get it. So we would be looking to, to initiate the borrowing in sometime after January of 2019 so that we don't have any pay down until 2020. Gotcha. Okay. And... and, and Again, the interest rate, the 3.12% for the five-year and the 3.50% uh, uh, for the 10-year uh, would be our, 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 our what, the, what, 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 what you think the bond rates would be in 2020. Well, that's short-term borrowing, and I have to tell you, what I had a conversation with Heather about this, and the financial advisor that put those schedules together, mm -hmm. um, I, in my opinion, I think at the at the tail end of the borrowing, when he has the short-term rates up at 4%, is probably a little bit high, mm -hmm. but, I mean, there's no way of actually knowing what's going to happen, so... And in short-term interest rates are going up, yep. but I don't think they're going to go up that high over five years. But I, but I could be wrong. But so, so are you suggesting that that we might, rather than do short-term, you know, one year at a time, it might be a point in time where we finance the remaining amount. Well, we for could a longer we could term? certainly do that if in, if it was more favor if interest rates were more favorable in the long-term environment versus right. short-term, then we could certainly do that. Yeah. But I also think that his interest rates carrying them out over that 5-year period and bringing them up to the 4% may be high. So I think we'd be looking at probably lower interest rates than what's anticipated on that schedule, but you don't, you know, there's no way to really know that for certain. So you'd have to keep an eye on both markets and see which one is more favorable. And if we get lower interest rates over the long term, then consider that over the short. So it's a safe assumption that you'll be monitoring that and, and making the appropriate recommendation each Oh, year. yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Would, would you see any kind of a rise in the insurance rates on a new truck like that versus what we're paying now? Yes. That would be on our property insurance. So, because the value is higher than our current truck, the, the rate would affect our insurance. It probably wouldn't be a significant. Right, I don't think it would be because we'd be taking one off and replacing it with a newer one. So. Um, you said that it takes a while to get a truck after the paperwork's processed. How long is like the usual wait? Well, I think the lead time can. I wish the chief was here to discuss it, but he's discussed it in the past, and I think, I mean, I I think it can be a half a year, nine months okay. in that Six range. To nine months last time. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. So if he places the order at the beginning of the fiscal year, once the authorization is approved, then we won't have to have the money available until we take delivery of the truck. So that's why we're able to delay it and not have a first payment due until the following fiscal year. Okay. 
Anything else? Vinny? Um, just a, a question about the forecast. I think you said last time the ladder truck is not included in the in the forecast. Correct. So we would. Yes. Yeah, so the so forecast originally did not assume any new debt. Right. Right. So we'd have to find a way um, within. Um, within the operating budget to fund that non-exempt debt. Yes, and actually Karen had already worked out those figures and that's, she found that it will replace the amounts right. that it will fall As off. she just said. So, yep, yeah. and um, yeah. she's already figured out the, the schedule for that. And it yep. falls under our policy, the percentage. I can answer your question now about the Worcester County retirement. Yes. Um, that uh, when the forecast uh, that was just presented was put together, I had the figure for the, the assessment for this year. So the projected figure for 19 included, it was the same as the target and was the same as the above target. So it was a net effect. And that was included um, under other amounts raised. Other category. amounts raised, right? Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. Yep. All right. Okay, we're done to. Uh, we're done with ca with capital. We're at the uh, minutes. Any, uh, any no. minutes? No minutes. That was quick. Okay. <coughs> Heather, you have a uh, a report or any? Uh... I have nothing tonight. Nope. Okay. Be next week. Gosh, maybe a new record here. Uh, committee and department updates. Anybody? George? I have nothing tonight. Mark? Nope. I did the capital uh, review <laughs> session. Okay. Committee? No, I don't have anything. Lisa and Mark? The uh, Charter Review Committee was scheduled to meet last evening. However, that, uh, uh, that meeting was canceled. Uh, we had reasons. some inclement weather. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we had an issue with the getting the agenda out anyway um, so we meet again uh, on the 28th okay all right next meetings February 13th the property condition assessment presentation will be in front of the uh, Board of Selectmen and uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be as many of us as can will be attending that I reckon the la our last meeting Terry Terry uh, took a roll call to see which how who was planning on attending maybe I can repeat that George would you uh, yeah, I'll be there. okay Mark it's not clear. I will be there Jay uh, I'm not sure since the date changed. I have a conflict now. Okay. So I'm planning to attend, yeah. And Hannah? I'll just have to double check. Okay, nice fine. Great. Well, we'll probably have a uh, quorum there. That's good. All right. Then the uh, two days after that, uh, the town manager's uh, budget presentation on the 15th, if I read, if, if I read Terry's uh, uh, schedule correctly, that will, uh, and then... Uh, that's it. Does anybody have any comments or questions? Either the public, town hall, the committee? Um. Wow. Okay. On the financial. <laughs> Fine. <I'm good. laughs> no, since no one does, uh, may I call for a motion to adjourn? Jay, did you have a question? Just, uh, oh, I just sorry. downloaded. Um, when I just download this financial forecast off the our website, 
It's saying town of Chumspit on it. You're really? Right. Town of Chumspit, yeah. Gosh. So maybe we need to update that. I don't know where that would come from. Hmm. I don't see it on mine. Well, if you look, Mark, it's uh, it's not on the document itself. It's on the uh, band to the left. Yeah, you're on the website. I saved it as a PDF yeah. and opened it as a PDF. I don't see that. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. Okay. Uh, any other questions, concerns, comments? I'll call for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Okay, thank you. So this meeting is adjourned at uh, 731. Wow. That's the fastest ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's in the document.